All right, here we go, guys. Uh, we're looking at 1.7. A, B, and C is just going to be one lecture for 1.7, guys. I'm talking a little fast. Um, just got done watching the Lions game a thrilling, with a thrilling overtime victory. Um, so here we go. Uh, first things first, you guys are going to be a little bit upset with me on this section because this is one of those sections where you have a bunch of different types of word problems and things. So I'm just going to give you a few examples that you might see and then we'll talk more in class about some of the other ones that will pop up. Okay, so first one we're going to look at, by the way, all the examples are going to be noteworthy today. Example one, write the mathematical expression for the verbal expression A, the area of a triangle whose altitude is triple its base, and B, what is the cost of an item that's on sale for 33%? Three, so let me give you guys a moment to write that. Okay. Oops. I do that every time. Okay, first thing we gotta think about is what is the formula for area of a triangle? If you remember, it's one half base times height, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Let's say we have this triangle, right? I'm gonna draw a triangle. Remember this is our height. This is our base. What if I assign a value to one of those? Let's start with L2 is triple the base. Let's say the base is X. If that base is X, my altitude is triple the base. My altitude will be 3X, right? So I plug in my formula, I get 1 half my base, which is X, times my altitude, which is 3X. So we get 1 half times well, 3x squared, or we get 3 halves x squared, okay? And there we go. That's all we're looking for. No calculator needed, no graphing. Just give the expression. Okay, next question is, what's the cost of an item that is on sale for 33% off? Now a lot of people do this where they go, well, I'm going to take my x, I'm going to subtract from it, you know, whatever 33% off of it is, and that will be my answer, which we do get, you know, 0.67x. The thing I always tell people, just take, you know, if you see it's 33% off, it's 67% on, so it's 0.67 of the original price, okay? 25% off, 75% of the original price, so 0.75 times your x, okay? Any big questions? Remember, feel free to pause it and go forward. Oh, so much. I'm going to cover up some of this so you guys don't get overwhelmed. Okay, this one takes some writing. Go ahead, uh, write this in your notes. While you're writing that, maybe I'll do a music trivia. Okay? So, we'll see. Okay, first one, you guess that tune, it may have been quiet. Give me the artist and the song title, you win a prize. Okay? Remember to tell me, no comments, no emails, to come up and physically tell me. Okay. Now example two, we have a solution which is 50% hydrochloric acid, HCl, right? Solution B is 75% hydrochloric acid, HCl, right? How many layers each solution should be used to make 100 layers of solution which is 60% hydrochloric acid? Okay, I do this all the time when I'm cooking. I say, hey, I'm using, I gotta get my lipids and my carbohydrates and my proteins right. Okay, that might be like, but if you ever get a job doing something with labs or mixtures, you're, this happens all the time. So you gotta think, how am I gonna do this algebraically? Okay, here's what we gotta think about. Think of solu or solution A. Okay. Eh, don't worry about this. I stole this from an algebra book. So we think solution A 
is 50% acid, right? So you don't even have to worry about this. We're going to go up here and 50% acid. And we need X liters of A because we don't know how much we need. So our total concentration is going to be 0.5 times X. Okay. Now here's where the tricky step comes in. Solution B is going to be 75% acid, right? But how many liters we use is going to be 100 minus X because we used the whatever we didn't use of the 100 liters from solution A we're going to have to make with B. A lot of people get thrown off and try to use two variables on this which gets you in trouble. Okay. So it's going to be 0.75 parentheses times whatever 100 minus X is. Our new solution is going to be 60% acid. We have 100 liters of it, that we do know. So it's going to be 0.6 times 100. So when we set up our equation, solution A is 50%, and we have x, uh, x liters of it, plus solution B is 0.75, and we have whatever's left over, the 100 minus x liters. We set that equal to our 60% times 100. Okay. So on this side, we're going to end up with 0.5x plus 75 minus 0.75x equals 60, right? So we get negative 0.25x equals negative 15, right? So when we do our divisions, where's my calculator? Point two five divided by fifteen equals. Oops, that's a ball. Take it. Divided by point two five equals sixty. X is sixty. What does that mean? It means we're going to have 60 liters of A and, well, 100 minus 60 for B, so 40 liters of B. Okay. Capiche? Because again, we go 100 minus 60, and that gives us our 40. Okay, now remember, don't drink hydrochloric acid. Okay, guys, I was going to do show you this, but I think it'd be better if I'm not going to ask you for any notes from this. I just kind of wanted you to jog your memory on linear regression, so I'm even going to skip this page. I'm going to put a link in the YouTube description. That link is to a video where someone shows you, goes through how to use a TI-84 for linear regression. I'm not going to say noteworthy, but I'm going to give you a homework problem on it. Um, just make sure you watch it. It's only three and a half minutes long. Besides that, this is the last lecture of the chapter. Don't forget, that means we have a quiz coming up in probably two days and probably a test in four. All right. Have a good day.